by increase, but that are likelihood we have some of them in, increase. So, uh, but that 75, this is the distribution across the country. Of course, you can see Chokoto, we can see recorded in Castina, Kano, and then we recorded in Bono, Adamawa, and then we recorded in um, Kadina, we recorded in Niger, Kebi, you know, FCT, and then, of course, almost um, half of the states in the south, you know, record one or two. You see rivers with, uh, like, about um, the cases of uh, incidents there, then Bayesa, Lagos, and then Ogun. And so this gives you the distribution of the 75 that we have. But, of course, if you go back, like I was, I was saying the other time, this gives us the uh, perpetrators and then the number of occurrence at which the act was perpetrated. Now, of course, we have security agencies uh, for we then um, mm -hmm. we have party members like about six times of, of occurrence, and then we have party agents. So, and then we also have uh, uh, party talks. So, and uh, which was the largest, and then we have voter, and then we have um, others. By others, we talked about or no government that you cannot directly link to uh, these actors in the electoral system. So, for instance, the issue in Bono, we are terrorists, you know, uh, were, I mean, uh, attacked at some point, then those are the ones that uh, made up of the, of the, uh, the others. Okay. And again, so when you look at the categories, categories of, of victims, this is what we have. So, INEC official were, of course, attacked like about 10 times that we were able to record and then party member, party agent, and then voters. You know, you can see the uh, frequency we have there. So again, um, in terms of gender disaggregation of how they were being affected, you have male uh, of the victims, and then female four, and then both male and female, we have like about uh, 34, and then of course unable to determine where our observers and uh, our monitors could not specifically say those who are affected as at the time of filing those reports. And you will recall in the statement we said um, some of these casualties have not, we, can, we cannot really put figures and numbers to them now. But this is one interesting, the number of victims, you know, uh, here, and then this gives you, uh, I mean, a, a map of what you have. So, for instance, what, one of the things I like to show you here is that in this map, anywhere you see red is just an indication that we have uh, victims that are affected in those states at 20 and above, you know, and then the, the map begins to turn to uh, red, and that is what is giving you here. And then again, where you now have between 20 I mean, um, and, and downward, let me just say 19 to 10. So you have that as amber. And then, of course, um, 10 downward, you still have that uh, as green. And this gives you what um, the, the victim looks like in the, in the election, which is very, it, it raises a lot of concern. Of course, so like I showed you the other time, we have like about um, 21 victims just right there from Adamawa, and then you have also in, I mean, in Shokoto, I mean, in Kebi, I mean, in, sorry, in, in Shokoto, you have 10, and then, of course, FCT, let's look at FCT. We have 91 here, and which is very, very, uh, I mean, worrying. Of course, well, if you go to Lagos, you have 75, you know? So these are the cases we have. Of course, uh, this disaggregation is out there. And one thing I also want us to know is that where we have some of the green, that's not me, you did not record cases of um, violence in, in, in those particular places. So, uh, uh, for instance, I go to, um, uh, le let me just go to, yes, Kaduna here, we have seven uh, victims there because some of these things um, happen in those places. But this is what we have in terms of violence. And again, uh, for instance, like we also said, you also see cases of um, uh, where you have cases of uh, what is it called? Uh, Ballot bus snatching, and you have cases of uh, destruction, uh, intimidation, 
uh, in some police units and in some state intimidation and then you also have cases of suppression and this this alone call for uh, concern and in our electoral process and i think um, as a people as um, as a people as uh, a nation and we can always do better so uh, our recommendation we had we had record of voter intimidation and suppression in some state of the nation this is worrisome and it will be investigated and addressed you know in some places um, the intimidation and suppression happens to uh, have some ethnic coloration that needs to be addressed the IRF platform was down on the evening of Saturday and there were reports of several polling units unable to upload the results sheets. We advise that INEC need to be more upfront in communicating with Nigeria so as to prevent misinformation and fake news, which could, um, which we feel could, um, Exhibits and um, eat up the already tensed policy. Polity. We appeal to all leaders of thought and people of conscience in Nigeria to desist from acts and utterances that can cause rancor and violence at this very sensitive time when results are being collated and announced. Any party with grievances can go to court or the tribunal to seek redress. We call on INEC to redeem itself by addressing the age long logistic problems, by planning and preparing early, and using available technology in the deployment of election materials and officials, especially on the day of the election. We call on the security agency not to relent in nipping every act capable of causing violence in the board. A lot of utterances and widely circulated statements in the, on the social media are already creating a tensed environment. We strongly advise political parties to prevail on its member not to celebrate or protest when the results not to over celebrate to the uh, detriment of others and to also protest when the results are not be, are being announced and it's not really going in their favor everything afterwards should be done with patriotism and modesty nigeria belong to everyone and any act of violent violence will deeply affect everyone as we, have as we have continued to call on INEC, the Commission must ensure that its technology and digital assets are well protected. It must not be hacked or manipulated in any form, as this may suggest otherwise to the people who may feel the Commission were not being transparent and upright. One of the things we are emphasizing at KDI is that this is the time that the security agencies need to beef up security because as any moment from this evening result will begin to be announced we expect that uh, security will be strengthened across board that is number one number two uh, over the years we have seen cases of uh, post-election violence and I think we don't want a repeat of that. So we expect that the security should be tightened at this time. And then this is not the time to let off the guard. Number two, we also expect that uh, the stakeholders, most especially the National Peace Committee, can start a back channel conversation with uh, contestant this time around. This is the time to really moderate the utterances and the temperature of their supporters so that we could um, uh, have a um, peaceful post-election experience. We've, uh, uh, KDI have been able to also look on the social media and track some utterances that we feel may not be good for, our, uh, for the, uh, the policy here in, in the country. 
and um, and lastly we also call on um, the president the federal government to see to heed that the process of national reconciliation starts now because this is one election this is one election that um, one of the things we saw on the ballot paper is ethnicity and religion because people at some point were voting according to the loyalty of their ethnic group and then in their religion and and i think uh looking at the peculiarity of the election where you find candidates from different geopolitical zones we feel the federal government need at this time to do more in terms of uh, national reconciliation as this election uh, goes on so again uh, and i think uh, it's good to also note here that um, this is not the time to reinforce the philosophy of um, uh, the winner take it, takes it all. And, and, and I think all hands are to be on deck. We are all party after the contest may need to work together because what is paramount to the development of our country is peace. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening.